All right, guys. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about uh, majority rule or uh, sometimes known, also known as Condorcet rule. Well, it's advocated by uh, uh, Condorcet in 1875. Uh, so in reality, how does it work? Well, each voters, uh, each voter ranks the candidates in order of preference, as we sort of did in our simple example. And then the winner is the candidate who, according to those rankings, beats each opponent in a head-to-head -head contest. Okay, that's it. Uh, so let's apply it on, you know, those examples. So in the example one, uh, we are going, so what are we going to do? Well, basically, we're going to uh, look at those rankings and then compare, uh, you know, every two alternatives. So... Uh, when we compare A versus B, all right, who is the winner? Well, remember here, according to this profile of preferences, uh, A over B, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the number of people who prefer A to B is, well, these three guys, those four, five guys, so eight, and then these guys prefer B to A. So therefore, uh, eight people prefer A to B, and then 13 people prefer B to A. So if the only candidates were A and B, B would actually get the uh, majority, right? So therefore here, B beats A, all right? Well, what about A versus C? Well, uh, those three guys, voters, prefer A to C. Those five guys prefer A to C. C to A, C to A. So, you know what? Eight people prefer A to C. And 13 people prefer C to A. So, therefore, C beats A. All right? So, C beats A. All right. Well, what about um, A versus D? Well, here... Uh, a beats D, A beats D, D beats A, D beats A. So you know what? Uh, 13 people prefer D over A, and then only 8 people prefer uh, 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 A over D. So therefore, D beats uh, A. Well, you know what? A is beaten by all the other candidates. For that reason, we call A Condorcet loser. All right. What does that mean? That means, well, remember the plurality rule actually elects candidate A because it is the candidate who gets the most votes. But actually, in comparison to uh, any other candidate, B or C or D, and if we ignore everybody else, if we just compare, you know, A with those candidates, whatever that candidate, other candidate is, will beat A. All right, in, in, in terms of majority. So actually, A is not really a good candidate in a sense, all right? Because there's a majority of people who prefer uh, B to A, and there's also a majority of people who prefer uh, C to A, and a majority of people who prefer D to A, all right? And majority, not plurality, meaning more than 50% actually prefer, uh, uh, you know, one candidate over A. All right, well, so A shouldn't be the winner because it's a, the, the, the Condorcet loser. And well, fine, let's compare B with the others. Well, I don't need to compare B with A because I know B beats A. So B versus C. Well, again, I only look at BC comparison. So BC here, CB here, BC here, CB here. So BC and BC. So three plus seven, 10 people prefer B, B to C. And then five plus six people prefers C to B. So 11 people. So who gets the majority? Uh, C. So you know what? C beats B. Okay. All right. Well, what about B versus D? All right. So B better than D. B better than D. B better than D. Well, everybody prefers B over D. So therefore B beats D. Well, uh, by the way, because B beats one of the alternatives, neither B nor C nor D are uh, a, a loser, Condorcet loser, all right? But doesn't mean that we found the Condorcet winner yet. So here, 
Obviously, B is not a Condorcet winner because there is another candidate, C, which beats B. All right? So here, if I, well, and again, D is not a Condorcet winner because B beats D. So after this two kind of uh, step, I have a guess that C is going to be the Condorcet winner. But let's continue with C versus D, right? Because I don't need to compare C with A, C between uh, B, I'm sorry. So I, all I need to do is C versus D. So when I look at C and D, so C better than D, C better than D, D better than C, C better. So as you see, only seven people prefer D over uh, C. The majority actually prefer C over D. So therefore, C beats D. All right, well, and that's it. So these are all had to had uh, all potential had to had contests. So uh, I don't know if you can see it, but a simple diagram could actually help. So this is how it goes. So uh, you can put it this way. So B beats A. So B beats A in terms of majority. So this is the majority. So B is better than A. All right, for the majority. All right, well, what else? Uh, C beats B, so C must be better than B, and C beats A as well, so therefore C is the third best. Well, what about D? Well, D beats A, so D is somewhere, I mean, above A, um, but uh, what, where? Where exactly? B beats D, so therefore D is here, and remember C also beats D. So, you know what? For the majority, C is the top, B is the uh, second, D is the third, A is the worst. So for that reason, A is the Condorcet loser and C is the Condorcet winner or uh, the majority uh, rule winner. So therefore, majority ruled in conclusion will select C in example one. All right. Um, again, it's not the plurality, um, so the C is going to be the winning alternative in example one, all right? Well, what about example two? Well, in example two, everything is very much the same, so all we have to do is just keep, uh, you know, those one-to-one -one, uh, contests. So the, according to example two, again, as you change the preference, profile, uh, the outcome may be different. So A versus B. B is better than A, A is better than B, uh, and A is better than B. So the majority for 13 people, A beats B. Okay, A, A versus C. A better than C, A better than C, so A beats C, good. A versus D. Uh, a is better than D, A, D is better than A, A is better than D. So 13 people thinks A beats D. Huh, you know what? I don't really need to look at B versus C, B versus D, or C versus D. Well, why is that? Well, because uh, B, C, and D, well, I don't know the relationship between these three, but they will always be worse than A for the majority. I mean, when we look at the head-to-head -head contest between A and B, A and C, A and D, A will always be the winner. So therefore, it is the Condorcet winner. All right. So in this profile, uh, majority rule picks A in example two. All right. So that's it. That's how the majority rule or the Condorcet uh, winner is determined.